Greetings, everybody. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be talking about things that happen in the Marvel movies and TV shows, like uh, especially Captain America and the Winter Soldier, and in uh, possibly some things that happens in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., the TV show. So, spoiler alert, you've been warned. And also, uh, this video is probably going to interest people that are already familiar with that, uh, with those shows in the Marvel comic universe. So, I'm just going to talk as if you already know the references I'm making. So, in Captain America and the Winter Soldier, uh, and, and matter of fact, if you want to pause my video and go in the description section below, the first link, uh, I'll name it the same as this title here, and the link will be there. You can actually watch this three minute clip. It's Dr. Arnim Zola as he explains the history of Hydra. Um, I'll just wait a sec. You guys back all right if you went and watched the video I hope but in that in that clip dr. Zola says Hydra was founded on the belief that humanity could not be trusted with its own freedom what we did not realize is that if you try to take that freedom they resist the war taught us much humanity needed to surrender its freedom willingly after the war shield was founded and I was recruited the new Hydra grew a beautiful parasite inside S.H.I.E.L.D. for 70 years and has been secretly feeding crisis, reaping war, and when history did not cooperate, history was changed. Then Black Widow, Scarlett Johansson's character, says, that's impossible, S.H.I.E.L.D. would have stopped you. And then Dr. Zola replies, accidents will happen. Hydra created a world so chaotic that humanity is finally ready to sacrifice its freedom to gain its security. Once the purification process is complete, Hydra's new world order will arise. Uh, they say, you know, art imitates life, or sometimes life imitates art. Now, we are living, folks, inside of like a real, <laughs> like a real comic book, except it's not as glamorous as the comics, right? And we don't have any superheroes. We have to do all the work ourselves. Anyway... Um, when this movie came out, and I'm a big fan of Marvel movies, and this guy, he's really talented, Josh Whedon, makes uh, these movies, or he's in charge of a lot of the parts of them. He, he's basically the, uh, you know, head of the operation here for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And they, they make uh, <clears throat> great stuff. And um, in an interview, after Captain America and the Winter Soldier came out, uh, Whedon was saying how he, you know, got inspired. Uh, the writers also took inspiration from r real world events, like the Snowden revelations and everything else that was going on in the world. And you can see all that reflected in the movie, you know. So that's uh, comic books and science fiction uh, are, are great that way. It is an art form where people can express real social issues in a sort of like a safe environment where you can have all this really cool stuff going on, but also <clears throat> reflect a lot of the, um, the fiction reflects reality. If, if, if sci-fi and comics are done, uh, when they're the best, that's when, when they're doing that stuff. And now you have Whedon here, who, um, makes this, uh, video with, uh, Robert Downey Jr. and others, this Save the Day video, which is really just a propaganda piece, uh, for, um, uh, Hillary Clinton, and uh, is it just a Trump bashing video? And uh, now we have everything that's come out. Now, conspiracy people that investigate, theorize about conspiracies or uh, uh, look at what's going on behind the news. People that people knew, like I knew about what Snowden was. What, when Snowden revealed what he revealed, I already sort of knew all that. I surmised it, I deduced it, but then he confirmed it. And uh, like this whole thing with globalists and New World Order and all the corruption and, um, you know, totalitarian globalism that wants to take over everything, we uh, that are awake already knew it, but now we actually have all the proof. It, it, has, it has also been revealed. So between all the WikiLeaks from Podesta right now, 
and they're up to like 13. Project Veritas going undercover and getting them. I mean, this is amazing, right? I mean, this is a, a real life Hydra, okay? Real life. Then you have the Guccifer hacks, the DC leaks, um, the FOIA leaks, the Freedom of Information Act leaks that actually uh, in this FBI doc talks about the seventh floor group and, or also known as the shadow government that was overseeing like how to make sure I guess Hillary didn't get charged or how they could control her email server criminality and all the other criminal activity that's been I mean if you go through the stuff that's going on what you have is a real life hydra a real life hydra that's infiltrated government including the FBI um, the entertainment industry the news media, virtually all of these things have been infiltrated. The educational system, colleges and local schools, and uh, uh, the environmental movement has also been corrupted by these people. So they're everywhere. They're into everything that has power to persuade and control you. And through all these uh, means, through news, through education, through the uh, corrupted environmental movement, through all this stuff... They have literally mind-fucked so many people that people can't see straight. Now, once you indoctrinate somebody into a belief, once you get them to believe something, there are psychological things that keep them locked into that belief. Things that you can look up like confirmation bias, the backfire effect, cognitive dissonance. And this is how they've managed to literally mind-fuck millions of people and control them with all the stuff that's been revealed about um, Hillary Clinton. Um, she shouldn't even be allowed to run for president. She should be in prison. It is, it is amazing. Okay, it's amazing. If I have a couple dogs here, just in case I have to pause the video, if they start barking, I'll and I'll then I'll resume in case you, you see a skip or something. Anyway, so we have, I mean. There's no end to this. Uh, people being uh, money, money being funneled through like a, almost like a. You could say this is like organized crime, right? Money being funneled so people can cause um, voter fraud, so people can cause riots and incite uh, violence, and and then you have to wonder how does this guy Josh Wheaton and other his other fellow actors that are in this video. Uh, interestingly enough, Captain America is not in this video. Chris Evans is not in this video. But um, how do these people, I think because they're egos, because they're sort of removed, you know, uh, but they yet they still are able to make a movie like Captain America and the Winter Soldier where they get, they, they sort of seem to understand what's going on. It seems to be reflected in the movie. And yet they're here now siding with real life hydra i mean you you can't look if you look at this stuff it's unreal what's been revealed unreal all the links that you see all the tabs i'll link to below so you can do your own research because that's what it's really all about right you got to do your own research and you gotta you gotta see this stuff for yourself because it's unbelievable so um yeah, you have all the Project Veritas videos. Now, uh, for the people that are so disgusted with Hillary, there's a lot of people that are going to vote for, like, Jill Stein or, or Gary Johnson, the libertarian. But the uh, here's the thing with these two people. Okay, Jill Stein has come out and literally said in interviews, you can go look them up. Uh, some of them are posted on Infowars and just on YouTube, that, um, you know, Hillary is the dangerous one. She's the one who's going to lead us into World War Three or a nuclear war. And she's right, you know. And one thing I admire about her, at least she's honest about her points of view and her policies. I don't agree with them. I think that anything that violates individuality, individual freedom, and voluntarism, as soon as you get into anything that ends up becoming uh, coercive, uh, like all these socialistic type stuff, ends up forcing people to do things, and then it degrades into tyranny. So I don't agree with her philosophy because I don't think it ever, ever works. In 6,000 years of human history, it has never worked. But I admire her honesty. Gary Johnson, on the other hand, 
is also Hydra. Because if you look at what he believes, he's not even a libertarian. I don't even know how he got nominated to the Libertarian Party. So um, he is also an infiltrator. Apparently the Libertarian Party, you can add that to the whole bunch of groups that have been infiltrated by these uh, corrupt criminals. I, I, you know. And then you have uh, YouTube videos I'll be linking to with some interesting points. Um, the uh, This one is a great video. Uh, you should definitely watch it. I'll make this the number two link under the uh, clip from Captain America. Uh, this guy explains the threat to globalism. And he was a writer, this guy here, David Seaman, he was a writer on uh, our contributor to the Huffington Post. And um, all he did was start questioning some of the stuff going on with, with Hillary, her campaign. And, and, you know, he's basically a... a I guess you could say a more genuine liberal and not uh, one that's, um, you know, crazy. And uh, he was just, and then he, they fired him. They got rid of him real quick. All right. They even hacked the poll on Breitbart.com to see who won the debate. And guess what? After uh, they hacked it and flooded it with thousands of votes for Hillary Clinton uh, on the last debate, uh, Trump still won. So you can't overcome the, all the cheating that's going on. It's been revealed now. Also, a quick tip for you guys looking at this stuff. On Twitter, if you do a hashtag like Podesta emails and they release them in batches like uh, Podesta emails um, 11 would be the 11th release, the 11th day of releases. And you can kind of skim through the, in the top section what you know a lot of the stuff that's come out. Uh, but this one, this I found this this morning. This is hilarious. So this is like Hillary has a special message for those of you trawling through Podesta emails because there's so much freaking dirt on there. I mean, we have literally no news media anymore. But just listen to this. Hilarious. I feel sorry sometimes for the young people. They don't do their own research. <laughs> I feel sorry sometimes for the young people. They don't do their own research. <laughs> I feel sorry sometimes for the young people. They don't do their own. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. Life is stranger than fiction, right? So, yeah, the plot inside. If you haven't seen this movie yet, you gotta go watch it. Pay attention to the, to the plot and how it relates to the real world. It's it's uh, probably the be the best Marvel movie they ever made. And um, what can you say, man? It, it's, you know, Hydra. Hydra is here. But the good news is that uh, people can fight back. Even though everything's been inf infiltrated and infected by these globalists that want to take over the entire world. It's, there's no bullshit here, folks. No bullshit. If you look, go through, if you spend time researching everything like I do, it is fucking amazing and all the people they have duped over and how they use Hollywood and celebrities to try to sway you and control you and shouldn't you be pissed off that this many people are trying to um, con you I mean it's unreal unreal what's going on and um, normally my channel deals with other things philosophy and, and study of consciousness and stuff but I had to make this video because I am a big fan of sci-fi and, and comics and it's something that I'll never outgrow. I've been a fan of comic books since I was a kid and I've, I still have comics from way back then and um, I love the art form. I love the how they tell stories and I, I love uh, how they can get away with doing stuff that you can't get away with in other story formats. So um, this is a big deal. Big deal. Um, and yeah, I'll, I'll start all the links below, but it's just overwhelming. Plus, like YouTube, you know, you know they're using their algorithm to uh, hide this stuff. I would show you the clip from uh, Captain America and Winter Soldier here, but, uh, you know, they'll flag me. For, even though it's fair use, they'll flag me for some bullshit thing. So, um, yeah, so you now here's the good news. The good news at the end of all this is that you can you can help stop this. OK. Uh, it doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter. It's not about Trump, okay? It's not I'm nothing about uh, if you don't like him personally or you have been uh, persuaded into not liking him. Um, this is about <clears throat> simply 
stopping Hydra. Okay, the real life Hydra. This is about stopping these globalist fucks from taking over everything because I guarantee you eventually it will affect you. It, it already has. It already has. They, they Also, they work together. I just want to say one more thing. Uh, they've also infiltrated all the parties. It's not like it's Republican versus Democrat. It, it's all exposed now. Controlled opposition is all out in the open. Fox News was bullshit. Okay? They're, they're all part of this. They were the controlled opposition to MSNBC. They, this dialectic formula that they use to control everybody. And... Uh, yeah, so it's it's everywhere, right? It's not just the the news, except for, no Fox News too, right? And and the Republican Party, and you see how they all turn on Trump. Now, just one thing about Trump, he was a guy that nobody really has taken seriously, and and that is a fatal flaw if you're judging your opponent and you don't take them seriously. This is art of war one hundred and one. Know yourself and know your opponent, and never underestimate your opponent. A book everybody should read, Sun Tzu's Art of War. 2,500-year-old book still valid today. This guy, he's seen as an entertainer. He's seen as a businessman. But you got to remember, he's built skyscrapers all over the place. Golf courses, uh, um, hotels, casinos. And he's able to maneuver in these cities that are all so c- controlled by all these politicos. And, uh, you know, because people don't take him seriously... He's allowed to do his thing, and he, he amasses a fortune. And then and then all of a sudden, if you go back to the 80s and look at old interviews, there's clips, montage clips of him from the 80s. He's always said, even back then, he was interviewed by Oprah at one point, I think, and he was asked if he was going to run for president. Only if America was about to fall. Only if it was a dire need. He didn't want to deal with the politics. But you gotta admit, he's a, f- a fighter. I mean, he's definitely not Captain America, and he's not pure or anything like that. But he's a fighter. So in real world, unfortunately, we don't have any superheroes, but we do have somebody that has managed to bypass all the blocks. He fights, and he's able to get ahead of them, despite their, them throwing everything that would have destroyed anybody else. Let's face it: all those other Republicans that were running, they would all crumbled as they always do cuz they're all a bunch of pussies. But he's not a pussy. You got to give him that. He's not a pussy. So he's got balls and um whether you like him or not, he is the tool. He is the thing that will stop this hydra thing from taking over the world. So you can be a real agent of shield as I am when I go to the polls. Um if you were thinking about voting for one of the other two candidates, well, you can. You can do that. Um but I don't understand anybody that would vote for Hillary Clinton. I don't understand that. I can't understand how. Is there no level of corruption and criminal activity that you won't tolerate if you're going to vote for her? Who are these people with their lawn signs up for her? There's, there's a few. There's not as many as in any other political year as I've seen. But there's a couple. And you got to wonder what the hell, how brainwashed they are to do this. Um, and, uh, you know, so uh, even if it's just a tactical decision for you. This is about stopping something really evil from taking over the, the world, basically. Because there's no stopping it after this, folks. This is the last stand. This is literally Hydra at the end of the movie when the carriers are up and the Project Insight is about to be initiated and the purge or the purification is about to happen. So, I mean, this is that, is that close. It is that close. Unfortunately, we don't have any badass uniforms and badass Quinjets to fly around in. But, um, you know, just get in your car, drive to the polling place. And people like Jill Stein, you know, she and, and the Libertarian Party, if they ever get straightened out, I would love to remove all these control freaks out of government so we can have individual freedom, liberty, and people can do things based on more voluntarism than coercion. But... Um, until then, it's just it's a, a strategic decision to be made. Uh, so, yeah, check out all the links below. I hope I made all my points clear. And, um, you know, let's just uh, do this thing. It's like 18 days when I'm making this video from the election. Hopefully I'll see you on the other side. All right, check all this stuff out, man. There's uh, a lot of stuff here. So disappointed in Josh Whedon. 
and, and Robert Downey Jr. especially. I don't even know, I can't tell from this video if he actually knew where this video was going to do this because, you know, they, they filmed these in different sections and he may have not had the whole script. So who knows? Who knows, right? But, um, yeah, a lot of these people, um, they their egos, their shallowness, I guess, just lets them live in a f bizarre world of that doesn't make any sense. So thanks for watching, and um, I will uh, see you guys next time uh, on my channel. And feel free to share this video if you want, because it's like a special edition video for me. It's not what I normally talk about, but I had to make it. All right, take care. See ya. Bye-bye.